guys, it's King Touch Pro and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to do a masking transition in Final Cut Pro 10. It's a little bit tricky, but it's a little bit easy at the same time and anyone can really do it. I know that there are tutorials, of course, for Adobe After Effects and Adobe Premiere Pro, but I haven't seen anyone, any tutorials that do this in Final Cut Pro 10 specifically. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this effect in Final Cut Pro 10. So let me go ahead and play the video for you guys. So that is the effect right there. So we have the video here, it's playing and then it just kind of fades onto the next clip while it's still in the clip itself. So that's pretty cool. I got the idea from one of my subscribers, of course. However, let me go ahead and make this big. This is where the kind of effect comes in handy. If I push play, you're going to see that. Let me go ahead and make this a little bit bigger. If I push play that, you're going to see the effect right here, as you can see. Right there, it just fades onto the next clip. And that is really, really cool. You can do the same exact thing. And the only two things that you need, of course, is the video or the, uh, the object or whatever it is that is transitioning to the next clip has to be filled within the frame. So currently I have letterbox, so I'm going to be using that as, as a um, reference. So you want to make sure that most of the frame is filled with whatever it is, top to bottom. Okay guys, so I have everything here ready to go. So I have my video right on top. This is what we're going to be transitioning. So we have our first clip that's going to be on top. That is the video you want to go ahead and transition onto so you can see that we're going to be removing this part and then the bottom video. Let me go ahead and uh, disable the top track for right now. So to do that, it's very simple. What we're going to go ahead and do first is we're going to go onto the effects browser. So we're in the effects here. Make sure you're on the all video and audio. Go into the search and type in draw mask. So once you've you know clicked and drag the draw mask effect onto the top video, you want to go ahead and kind of get rid of the effects browser because we don't need that anymore. Now it says to click to add a control point. So we want to go ahead and do is go on to the top right of the Final Cut Pro 10 window here. And we have these percentages and that is the window size. So we want to go ahead and bring this down to around 50%. So we can see everything or maybe even lower, maybe 25%. So what we want to go ahead and do is go to the point where most of the frame is filled with the car. So once you've done that, what you want to go ahead and do is bring up the inspector window so you know what you're doing. So what we're going to go ahead and do is first click on the draw mask to bring up the little pen tool. You want to go ahead and select the area that you want to hide. So whatever you're going to be selecting, that's what's going to be on the other video. So what we want to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and kind of click in this area right here. So I'm going to go ahead and add a point there, one there, one here, and one there. And then here I'm just going to kind of go like that. I don't really care about the end here except this one because it's a little bit curved. So same with this one and that's it. So once you've done that, once you've selected your points, of course you want to do better with your points. But the more points you add, the more work you're going to have to do uh, frame by frame. And then you want to go ahead and go ahead and select the outside part so it only selects this part. Now you're going to have this really weird kind of effect here that you have going on. So all you got to do is just go back to the fit window so we can see what we're doing. And if you want to get rid of this so you have more screen real estate, go on to the top right where it says show or hide the browser. And that way you have more area to work with. So let me go ahead and go back to fit right here. And uh, we have our video selected there. Now, if you go onto the view where it says composite, we want to do original so we know what we're doing here. But what we want to go ahead and do first is start tracking this. So to do that, we have the transforms and the control points. So go ahead and open up the transforms window here. You're going to have the position. This is what, what you want. This is the main key of making this work. You want to have the plus icon checked. And you will notice that you have it checked because there's a little minus. Now, if you go to the... Uh, control points, you're going to have all the control points, all the points that, that you added. So I have 16 points that I added or keyframes and that will go ahead and track it. But you won't do anything, it won't work unless you add the keyframe. So then what you want to go ahead and do is go back to the video and move your frame one frame over and you will see that right here on the time head. It goes over one frame. Uh, so that's what you want. So currently we moved one, we moved the spot, so we have to move all of these uh, frames or these keyframes. So to do that, just click and drag. It doesn't really matter where you click and just drag it. Now because the car is coming closer to the camera, the car will get bigger and the keyframes will remain the same size. So we have to make some adjustments to the keyframes so it doesn't look obviously fake, so it fits within the car's 
dimensions. So what we want to go ahead and do is right now it didn't really change and you will tell that it's working if you go uh, you know, one frame back and one frame over. That's when you know the frames are working and you're doing it right. Because if you don't do this and you miss a step, you're going to feel really dumb towards the end when you have done all of your work and you go back to only see that you've it hasn't even moved. So just keep that in mind. I've gone through that many times. So you want to go ahead and move the time head one frame over and click and drag this over once again. You can start to see that the car is starting to get bigger. So we're going to have to start moving the keyframes a bit. Now, if you want to select multiple uh, you know, keyframes, click in between two points and you can go ahead and move those two points. Maybe you want to select all of the points. So all you got to do is hold shift and click on them. You want to go ahead and go one frame over and just keep doing that until uh, you know it, it keeps on going. So we have that going on. You can see, and you can fix them, of course, too. You can adjust them. So try not to get too close to the edge because you can see that we still have to feather it. So feathering will cut off some of the car. So just keep that in mind. That's why it didn't look so good in the first place. Guys, so once you have finished, all you got to do to really end this is just to move everything out of the frame. So you so you know that you, you're not messing around with anything. So now this is what we have here. It tracked the whole entire back of the car, technically the outside of it. But you will notice that the this line right here will be a problem. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and fix that really quick. So it goes into the frame right about here. So we're just going to go ahead and click on the last line and just drag that outwards so that it's not in the actual frame. So everything else is not inside. So we're going to go ahead and keep doing that Whoops, um, for each of the frame. So we're going to go ahead and click and drag this outwards. Go one frame over, click and drag. So now we have something like this so the back shouldn't move at all. In fact, let me move this a little bit more. Okay. So now we have this going on. So that is what we want. Let me go back to the fit so you guys can see what's going on. So this is what we have here. It's just following along with everything. But you can't see the bottom video. So to fix it and now to really add the effect, we're going to go back to the effect or the in, into the inspector window, go to the effects and go on to the draw mask. Once in here, we can change the settings. So the fill opacity, we're not going to really mess with that yet. The invert mask, we will. So uh, first, we're going to go ahead and go to the view and go to composite, then click on the invert mask option, and then we're going to go back to where it kind of starts. So it starts around here, right? This is where it starts. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. So now what we're going to go ahead and do is go to the feather. We're going to feather this out. And this is why I told you guys to start kind of in the end or not too close to the edge because it will cut off a lot of the car. So I'm not going to cut too much off, off of it, but just a little bit. So it, does, so it looks like a smooth transition. The fall off is where, where the fall off is going to take place. I move this to the right, very right. So 100%. And that's all you have to do, really. So now if we go ahead and push play, um, of course, you're going to have this really weird option. Just click on the first video that we've cut and uncheck the draw mask. So now we have something like this. You can see that's a very harsh transition right here. So what we could do is we could, of course, go onto the transitions itself and add a cross dissolve and then make this very, very short. So we're going to go ahead and render this out really quickly to show you guys what it'd look like with a transition in between the clips. So this is what it'd look like. So that's a much better effect right there. Maybe you want it to be a little longer so it's not too dramatic. So now we have something like this. So that is much better. So if you found this video helpful in any way, please drop that like button. That'll be awesome. Subscribe if you haven't. I post videos just like this. Comment down what you guys want to see next for my next video. And I'll catch you guys on my next video. Until then, peace out, take care, and enjoy your day.